Hi there, it's Reed from Blue Bear Quilts. And if you've come to see a trunk show of some beautiful batik quilts and projects, you've come to the right place. Welcome to the Blue Bear Quilts channel. This is going to be part one of this batik trunk show. I have been honored for the last two years to be an Island Batik ambassador, and that was for the years 2022 and 2023. And so in this first part, I'm going to show you the projects that I made during the year 2022. This first one was made in January, and it is called the South Seas Shuffle Quilt. And you can see that it is a series of uh, flying geese units that have been put together. There are some dead spaces for um, lots of quilting to be done. Um, this quilt is super easy to quilt on your domestic machine because I basically just went around each of the triangles in the flying geese units. The fabric that was used in this particular quilt was Island Batik Graduations or I'm sorry, gradations, Isla Batik gradations in the blue colors. And um, this is a pattern that's available on my website at www.bluebearquilts.com and it's called South Seas Shuffle. And I also have a tutorial on my YouTube channel for sewing a partial seam. And in this quilt, there is a partial seam and where that is would be right here where you have a tiny little square and then this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece have to go around. So you do have to sew a partial seam in order to uh, put that part of the quilt together. So I will link um, the different tutorials that I'm talking about during this presentation in the description so that if you happen to watch those videos, you'll be able to locate them. This is my February project, and it is called Timberland Tumble. And this one is um, also a pattern that's on my website called Timberland Tumble. This one was made with Island Batik uh, Evergreen and Pine Collection. So you can see it has the beautiful greens and browns, uh, a lot of very natural looking colors in here. There's fern leaves and berries and what looks like bark and pine trees. And this basically was a row quilt. So each one of these sections is a different row where uh, different blocks were created. Primarily the, the unit that's in this one is half square triangles and the different ways that you can arrange half square triangles so that you get different looks. So it's basically a half square triangle quilt um, but each row you can see creates like a different look depending on how the half square triangles are arranged. It's super fun to be able to create different blocks in each row. This is a thread painting project for March and I called it Milan and the thread painting was done with uh, Orafil and they have box collections that have uh, three different threads in it and the collection for this was called Milan Gray and you can see that I've used like the beautiful decorative stitches that you have on your sewing machine and basically applicate the pieces that create a, a church that's located in Milan and so that's what this is representing as a church in Milan and has the decorative thread painting stitches on it. This was my April project and he's called Buttons the Bear and he's also made with the evergreen and pine collection and you can see these beautiful fabrics that were used to make Buttons the Bear. Again, those beautiful earth tones were perfect for making this bear. And he has a cute uh, Island Batik ribbon that comes on the fat quarter packs around his neck as a ribbon. And uh, the pattern for him was from a company called Funky Friends Factory. And the particular pattern was called Melody Bear. And it was real easy to follow their pattern to create this bear. It was super easy, 
super fun and an awesome project. Isn't this one a beauty? It's named Beauty Pageant and it was my June 2022 Island Batik project. The Island Batik collection that was used to make this is called Jewel Carvings. Now I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel for making the New York Beauty Block. That's what this is called right here. This is a New York Beauty Block. And so that tutorial will help you um, understand how to make that type of a block. And also, um, this was an interesting design in combining these nine patches with the New York Beauty Blocks. They tend to be a lot of work, so by putting a limited number of them throughout the quilt and combining it with another type of block, I was able to get this striking quilt. This one was also fairly easy to quilt because I basically just needed to follow the triangles and follow the shapes. And so it's another one that was fairly easy to uh, quilt on your domestic machine. For the next project, which was done in July, I don't actually have the quilt. And it was made with this AccuQuilt die called Tree of Life. And my project was called Tree of Life from the Underside. And here's an image of what the quilt looks like. Now it's called Tree of Life from the Underside. And if you would like to watch a video that uh, tells you more of the story behind the quilt, I do have a YouTube video on it and I will link it in the description down below. This is the August project and it's called uh, Blue Bear's Blue Star Quilt. And this is a miniature quilt. It's probably about 14 inches by 14 inches. And I used a mini block lock ruler to make this quilt. It's primarily um, comprised of half square triangles. Uh, and it was made for Blue Bear. Here he is. And although it's small, he really likes it because it's the perfect size for him. And this was made with the Island Batik Jewel Carvings Collection. And I do have a um, video on my YouTube channel where I show how to use the mini block lock ruler. I just love the colors of the southwestern United States. And this one is called the Southwest Star 60 quilt. And um, it was used, it was made with another Studio 180 design tool called the um, Star 60 tool. And it made making all of these stars and these hexagons extremely easy. There are many, many triangles that are in this quilt and they're created with that star 60 tool. The fabric collection that was used from Island Batik in this quilt is called Simply Southwest. And on my YouTube channel I do have a tutorial where I show myself making this quilt if you'd like to watch it. My October project was to use a pattern by Annie and this one is called the um, in control caddy and you can see that it's a, a nice little caddy with um, pockets on the side here and there's a zipper pocket on the end and there are other pockets on this side and then inside there are baffle pockets to hold things and a nice big open middle and the fabric collection that was used to make this is called Silverado Canyon and it has just some beautiful beautiful fabrics in it. And you do a lot of the quilting um, on these pieces before you actually start sewing it together and if you've ever worked with a pattern by Annie it's super super easy to follow the instructions and to make the project. So this is the In Control Caddy made with the Island Batik Silverado Canyon collection. The November project was to make a crazy quilt stocking. And this is made with the Island Batik Mountain Gems collection. You can see the beautiful fabrics that are used in it. 
And then um, the crazy quilting is where you quilt in between the seams and you use decorative stitching, the ideas for your stitching to actually show. So you can see all the beautiful stitches that I put on there. And I'm using uh, an Aurifil cotton 50% weight thread in my uh, machine to do that. So it ends up creating just a nice little uh, kind of different, it's not red and green, Christmas stocking that was done with crazy quilting. And the way I made these pieces was um, a technique basically called crumb quilting where you sew pieces together and then cut it apart. And I actually cut this stocking out on uh, an AccuQuilt cutter. Uh, it's actually the studio cutter where they used to have a die um, for that one for a Christmas stocking. And I think they have it for the Go Big Cutter as well now. But that was, um, what I did was I did crumb quilting, put this together, put a fusible uh, web backing on it, and then cut the stocking pieces out with that die. I've always wanted to make a Lone Star quilt, and I think this one turned out really nice. It's called Reach for the Stars, and it was made with the um, Island Batik Copperfield line, which has like these beautiful oranges and kind of copper colors and some beautiful greens and teals and dark greens. And then it's combined with white as an accent um, piece. And the pattern that I used to make this is a quilt in a day book pattern called um, the Radiant Star Pattern. And in that it also has the instructions for making these little stars in the corners as well. And there is a tutorial where I work on this particular quilt um, called Making the Mitered Border um, that you can watch that will show you a little bit more about this quilt. In 2022, I also created some projects for the Island Batik catalog uh, to sell their fabrics. And this is another rendition of South Seas Shuffles, and it's done in uh, light, medium, and dark uh, gray tones and the fabric line is called Bodacious Blacks. And so you can see how versatile that South Seas shuffle pattern is and could be used with many many different colors. And the main thing is you just need like a light, a medium, and a dark and then you need some type of a contrasting color like this white to make it stand out. This bold quilt is called Modern Spin and it really has some bold primary colors in it. Um, and in the design, it almost creates like an opaque transparency throughout the quilt, which is part of what gives it that spinning effect. Um, and the fabric collection that was used to make this is called um, Gar Garden Delight by Island Batik. It's a super easy quilt to make, um, but has a lot of style, a lot of design and I think you'd really like this one. This quilt is called River Reads, and it's made with the Island Batik collection called River Walk. The fabrics that are used in this collection are very unusual in that they, they have a lot of, um, I guess what would look like river reeds um, in them, and some unusual colors like turquoise and navy blue and kind of a pea soup green, um, black with gold in it. So there's a lot of unusual colors in this, but it really creates a striking design. And that one is called River Reads using the Island Batik River Rock Collection. Well, that's it, folks. Those are the quilts and projects that I made for being an Island Batik ambassador during 2022. If you'd like to see the projects that I made as an Island Batik Ambassador during 2023, be sure to look for the Part 2 video. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell so that you'll be notified when I create future videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye!